Hello guys and welcome back to another Bitcoin market update. I just bought more Bitcoin and here is why. Now if you guys enjoy these short updates, especially when we are so close to the market bottom, make sure to hit the thumbs up. Bitcoin is right now trading below the 200 weekly moving average. Oh my god, the world is ending. However, guys, we still have about three more days before we start printing a new weekly candle. I can show you that in the previous massive dump, Bitcoin actually went below the moving average. However, a week later, it was already trading above it. So by this point, we'll have to see if over the next three days, Bitcoin is able to rally above $22,000. I just bought more Bitcoin. Historically, this 200 weekly moving average has marked the bottom of the bear market. We can go all the way back in 2015 and this moving average actually held support. I am sure the narrative then was also extremely negative. I imagine people were saying oh this is a funny money market this is the biggest bitcoin bubble of history everything is going to zero and i guess that is more or less what we hear every time then we had the bear market of 2018 and once again everything is going to zero we've just come out of a massive bubble sell everything and come back in 10 years then here we have the march 2020 crash again extreme fear and i do not think there's any need to explain why this was such a fearful time and once again guys history repeats itself this is just trading in a nutshell markets in a nutshell there's only two emotions in the market we have greed at the top and we have fear at the bottom and i'm gonna be honest guys there is no need to reinvent the wheel. I'm gonna pick this simple moving average strategy and I'm gonna stick to it. It has worked so far. Therefore, I am buying regardless of the narrative. Besides guys, when there is so much fear in the market, I think we should rather think rationally overthinking emotionally and this comes down to simple math even a first grader should be able to tell you this what is the risk to reward ratio when bitcoin is sitting at twenty thousand dollars in the worst case scenario we have another 85 percent correction in which case bitcoin goes down to about ten thousand three hundred dollars and that would be an additional 50% correction. But then we compare the current price to the previous all-time high, which was $69,000. If Bitcoin was to rally to those price levels right now, that is a reward of 240 so so let's compare let's ask a first grader here what is more significant a 50 percent correction or a 240 percent gain over a larger time frame so at this point i have a long position on bitcoin at a 2x leverage therefore my liquidation price is down at eleven thousand dollars there is a slight chance that we have a flash crash to those levels however i do not think that is going to be the case so i have opened this long position besides that like i just said at the beginning of this video i've also opened spot positions for the long term i believe this is a reasonable price to get in why think about it so much a few months ago in the middle of massive euphoria nobody questioned buying bitcoin at fifty thousand dollars because of course it's going up and we are greedy creatures but now that fear and the bear narrative has taken over the markets nobody wants to buy everyone wants to get in at the absolute bottom and what's gonna happen is everyone will miss it now guys we're down to the four hour time frame and we have bitcoin sitting at twenty thousand five hundred dollars still holding above the twenty thousand dollar support level if for some reason, Bitcoin continues to move lower than $20,000. The next level of support is going to be $17,600. In addition to that, we also have this falling wedge formation outlined in white. And as per usual, if Bitcoin is able to rally above the resistance line, we should see price action move back up to retest a level of resistance towards the top of the wedge. I believe that should be around 28 to 29 thousand dollars since the thirty thousand dollar level was 
previous support now resistance simple stuff in addition to that we also have the 200 moving average on the four hour time frame which is right now twenty eight thousand seven hundred dollars and guys this is how technical analysis goes i am not claiming to know the future there's only two potential outcomes will either move down to the next level of support or we're gonna have a relief rally towards a level of resistance when we also take a look at the RSI, we can clearly see a bullish divergence when contrasting the RSI to price action. Price action is currently moving sideways with more or less lower lows and lower highs, but the RSI is moving up with higher highs and higher lows. And this is showing us that the current downtrend is getting weaker, at least over the immediate short term. Take it for what it is. Now, if you guys enjoyed this quick and important update, make sure to hit the thumbs up, show some appreciation. But if you didn't like the video, feel welcome to also hit the thumbs down. Because at the end of the day, I am doing these videos for you guys. There's a lot of noise and confusion around. Everybody just wants to get those clicks. Therefore, they go like, oh, sell everything, get out. This market is going to zero, right? You guys have to learn the game. It's always gonna be like this. So when people call you crazy for buying, I guess this is a good time to buy. And like always, guys, this is not financial advice, only for education and entertainment purposes. But wait, check all the links in the description below this video, starting with Robinhood, which is a stock and cryptocurrency trading platform. If you sign up today using my personalized link, you will get a free stock valued up to $1,500. If you also want to take advantage of this crypto bear market lows, sign up with Coinbase and start dark cost averaging. Besides, if you're a professional trader or an intermediate trader, check out Bybit as well. Here you can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, and many other altcoins using plenty of leverage. If you also happen to encounter IP address restrictions, check out NordVPN. This is what I use to surf the web without restrictions. And if you would like to talk to me directly or be part of our Telegram community, make sure to click on this link and join right now. I'm going to have a lot of good stuff coming up for my Telegram community in the future. Make sure to get in right now and reserve your seat. In the future, we will have have short and long trade signals along with a lot of useful tips information and guidance if you would like to support this channel here's how you can tip your preferred cryptocurrency bartender if you guys enjoyed this video like always make sure to hit the thumbs up also consider subscribing to remain updated and i'll see you guys in the next video